What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Everything's starting to come together now here at the new house, at the new headquarters, and I can finally take some time to just nerd out. It's something that I've been looking forward to doing, making good content again, high quality, taking my time with it, fun, interesting stuff. Stuff that I haven't been able to do in a while because of the combination of moving, having a new child in the home, all of that, it's just been chaotic. But now I have my ramp tech ramps back, I have a space to skate them, I have a workspace. So everything is finally coming together and I can make that content for you. So as you know, I've been skating my 9 inch wide globe deck. And yeah, it's a really good deck and I love it. The deck itself is fantastic. It's like really good quality, really. I mean, I've, I have no complaints about this deck. Except one. It's 9 inches wide. So... It kind of is a pain in the ass to flip and rotate and just all around skate. I mean, it's, it's huge. So I decided today we're going to take a little bit off the edges with a belt sander and maybe make it a square nose. And then we'll see how it skates then. Maybe a little bit off the edges, maybe a little bit, you know, squared up. I haven't skated a square nose like in years, so... We're gonna shape it up a bit, and that's gonna be the video. That, and then we're gonna test it. So let's make this shit happen. Well, it's getting a little bit more square to it. It's gonna be interesting. Let's keep going. Damn, this is looking pretty good so far. I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely getting that square nose shape to it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be dope. Plus, I've got my thunders back on here because I missed my thunders. So um, they're not made for a nine; they're made for an eight five to eight, you know, seven five maybe. So we're going to uh, definitely be feeling a difference in weight as well. Back to it. sawdust in my eye. Alright, so here is one end and I trimmed it all down. I made it about a little bit bigger than an 875 I'd say. Maybe an 875. And here is the other side. I'm thinking this is the nose. Yeah, that's the nose. So here's the nose and the tail. Now it came out pretty clean. Um, I'm going to seal it with like some clear coat just to keep it from um, soaking up water or moisture. But it came out pretty damn clean. Let's see if we can get a good, a good shot of it here. All right, over, 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 and there you go. There's my square nose. Now, if you need to bring your board down a size because your trucks don't fit it or you just want to try out a different shape and you are old enough and responsible enough to use power tools I do recommend trying this so I'm gonna go ahead and test it all right now it's time to try it on some flat ground. <laughs> Ow, my mm, shin. So it could be a placebo effect, but I did take a little bit off the edges and I did taper the nose and tail out a little bit where it was so uh, big and round on each end. 
So maybe it, it is a little bit lighter, plus I'm skating my Thunders and not those big clunky huge uh, tensors it came with, but it definitely feels a lot lighter and maybe a little bit more snappy like taking off some of that old aged wood off of there and kind of getting it back down to just fresh wood. Um, maybe that helped? I don't know. So yeah, if you ever find yourself in a position where you can't find grip for your board or you can't get to a, sh a sheet of grip for a new board and maybe you're skating a board that's a little bit too big for you or maybe you just feel creative go ahead and give this method a shot and let me know how it went for you so yeah fun experiment um, definitely going to be a fun experience skating a square nose board so catch y'all next time don't forget to subscribe like the video if you haven't